Hello crafty friends! Today I'm super excited to be back with a fun wintry themed cart where those cute little heffy doodle squirrels are building a snowman, so I hope you like it! I started stamping out all of my images onto Bristol Smooth cardstock and the Christmas trees are from, or the little pine trees are from Santa's Village. The Christmas tree is from Wanna Build a Snowman as well as of course the snowman and the squirrels are from Let's Go Nuts. So I'm coloring them in with Zigmar, Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And I always put the caps up top so you can see all the colors I'm using. I'm just blending the colors out with a colorless blender and I have a piece of scratch cardstock off to the side so I can clean the nib of my colorless blender while I'm blending out the color so I don't drag too much of the dark pigment around. I wanted to keep the squirrels fairly neutral colored, not too reddish, so that they would work on my cool tone scene. And I'm also adding in a little bit of blue shading to the outside of the snowman. And of course, a black or dark gray top hat. Again, blending that out with a colorless blender. Then I'm adding in some red. I'm adding it to the candy canes, the little, what is it called, the garland on the tree and also the rim of the snowman's hat. And I'm using the shade 24 for that. And then I'm combining the red with some pink. The shade I'm using is 202 from Zig Markers. And I'm using that on the little baubles on the tree as well as the scarf on the snowman. Just using the colorless blender to blend out the 202 pink shade. And I'm using the same color combination on the present just with a little pink bow and the main part of the present will be red. Then off camera I die cut all of the pieces for my box card and I will link up top and down below to a video on uh, where I share all of the details, all of the measurements on how to make those kinds of box cards. So go check that out if you would like to know more about all of the measurements you need to make those kinds of box cards. And I stamped the sentiment from Elfin Christmas just in a teal shade of the oxides, which is the peacock feathers. And I ink blended all of the pieces with a little bit of salvaged patina, just to give it more of a snowy look. And I also added some snowy splatters to the background off camera. I left that part out because there really wasn't much to it and I didn't want to make the video extra long just to show me adding snowy splatters. So now I'm adding all of the pieces. I'm folding along the score lines. I added the flaps to the background of my panel, making sure it lines up with the sides and the bottom. And I'm doing the same thing for the front panel, making sure it lines up with the edge and the bottom. I'm adding my decorative panels at this point because it's just easiest while the card isn't assembled yet. Just adding a little bit of glue to the back and pressing them down. Then it's time to add in my little shelves and like I said, all of the measurements will be in the linked blog post as well as the video. I'm just adding those to the left side first. I'm just staggering them along the, the slanted edge of the box because I find that this gives the nicest dimension. Just adding them in one by one. And you can see how it will come together. Now I'm flipping over all of the little shelves to the right side. And I'm starting to remove the backing paper of the square tape. 
making sure they're lined up as I want them. Then I'm also flipping over the front, pressing it into the exposed adhesive. Then I'm removing that backing paper and flipping over the right side to close the card. Now I'm just moving it around to make sure it will fold nicely into an envelope. And now I'm just fiddling around with the placement. I'm adding in all of my images using liquid glue and uh, glue dots. I'm making sure that my two cute little squirrels are holding the arms of the snowman because they're just building a snowman, which is just so cute. I wasn't quite sure how I wanted the layout to go, so there was a lot of back and forth here. <laughs> I added a cute little candy cane to have my first little squirrel holding it. And then I'm also adding a candy cane to the flying squirrel in the background. I just keep moving the squirrels around, moving the images around so that I get the best effect and that all the images are visible, like when you look at the card from the front. It's always a bit of a shuffle, but it's usually worth it. That's why I love using glue dots for those, because you can normally just, uh, if you don't press down too much, you can just move them around as needed. With liquid, liquid glue, you're kind of st stuck where they are. So unless I'm really, really sure where something is going, I'm using glue dots. Otherwise, I'm just adding some liquid glue, like with the trees here. I just added those in, just layered them, so I just used a bit of liquid glue for those. But the squirrels all went down with uh, glue dots so that I can move them around. Then I'm adding a little flying squirrel in the back. This one I added with liquid glue, but I was also already sure where he would go. Of course, with a little candy cane in hand. And then I'm adding, finally, the little present and my cute little guy with a candy cane in front. And that finishes off my box card for today. I had so much fun making this. Oh, I just love box cards, all the dimension, and it's just such a fun effect when the recipient pulls it out of the envelope. And those cute little squirrels building a snowman is just too adorable. Tomorrow I will be sharing my final card for this year. I can't believe we're already wrapping up 2021, but I'm super excited about the next year and I hope I'll get to share lots and lots of crafty inspiration with you. I hope I'll see you tomorrow and in any case, I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and an amazing 2022. Bye!